Uh, well, uh, it is uh, true that the Ballast Water Management Convention is uh, very close to ratification and uh, as soon as this happens, uh, there will be one year during which uh, thousands of ships will be required to uh, have an approved uh, plan on board to be certified in accordance with uh, the regulations and also to be issued with uh, Ballast Water Management Certificate. Um, at Lloyd's Register, we have already taken, um, uh, undertaken an, ex an exercise in order to estimate the expected workload that will be put upon uh, the offices. And um, uh, a plan to secure the resources uh, is already in place. Uh, with regard to the onboard surveys that will be required, of course, uh, as part of the convention, uh, these will be, will be handled by our extensive network of surveyors based around uh, eight, uh, 80 countries uh, around the world. Uh, having said that, we are confident that uh, we will be able to support the ship owners in achieving and ma maintaining compliance with the ballast water management regulations. Uh, well, uh, there are many solutions that are uh, available out there. Currently, we have uh, more than uh, 60 systems that have been uh, already approved. Uh, however, um, uh, there, there's no single solution that is suitable uh, for, for all ships. So the, um, the short answer is no. There's no golden solution. And the key challenge for ship owners is to uh, match the operating profile of the ship to the technology uh, that will be used. As we have seen, uh, there have been uh, issues with performance of the systems uh, relating to salinity levels uh, and uh, water uh, quality and water uh, temperature. Well, uh, actually, the, as we move closer to the implementation of, uh, of the convention, uh, one of the key issues is uh, the, the confidence uh, in, the, in the guidelines. Although there are many uh, systems that have been uh, approved, there are still concerns about the performance of the systems. And uh, therefore the key challenge is to um, build uh, confidence in the technologies that will be used for uh, treating uh, ballast water. And in order to do that, uh, we need uh, clear, uh, robust, uh, transparent and uh, consistent uh, guidelines to be applied. Uh, currently there is a revision of the existing guidelines at the IMO and uh, this is a very important step uh, uh, towards uh, building confidence uh, in the technologies and um, if we manage to go over the wave of uh, uncertainty that uh, is in the industry right now uh, we will be able, we will know that we are on the right track in implementing the Ballast Water Management uh, Convention and its purpose. To be honest, uh, I think um, it would not be uh, appropriate to make a prediction on, uh, on that issue, which is uh, quite uh, sensitive. Our advice to ship owners would be always to plan ahead uh, for the installation of their system well ahead of the actual dry dock date, date in order to ensure that uh, uh, the system will be available on time. If for any reason uh, this is not possible, the best uh, uh, way forward would be to uh, contact the regulators and uh, establish their position and their reaction uh, um, on this uh, particular issue.